Good afternoon. My name is Scott Miller. I'm the executive chef for Seasons of Coeur d'Alene in beautiful downtown Coeur d'Alene, Idaho. I have been cooking for approximately 30 to 40 years. I've been doing this quite a while. Um, I've worked for such names as the Sheraton during the Starwood years, through the ITT years. Um, I've also worked at the Microsoft Conference Center for four years. Uh, my background is basically a lot of cooking, a lot of time, and a lot of experience. When I was first approached about RD Fresh, as a smaller restaurant, and I'm talking about 9,000 square feet, uh, we up to close to 2 million a year, I still consider ourselves small. We're in a growing phase. Um, I was first approached about RD Fresh, the packets, and I was told what they could do for me, and I was told what they could do for our food. Um, fantastic. My biggest questions are, will the packets make a difference? Is it worth it? Is there value in it? Is there a reason beyond being told what they will do? Will it be visible? Will it be tangible? Will it be viable for our business? Those are questions that I had to ask. I asked friends, um, friends in the business that is. Uh, in other words, I checked with other chefs and their experience, how did they feel? All of them did say that it was noticeable in the walk-ins that you could tell the difference. And of course, I asked why. And I said, well, the temperature, the, the food stays fresher longer, and you, you don't see a transfer of flavors there. The flavors in the walk-in, when it comes to, obviously, the most notable is going to be desserts, um, whether or not your cheesecake is tasting like onions, whether your chocolate cake is tasting like fish. Um, the, the reply was usually, and almost always unanimous that there was zero transfer of flavors. Okay, um, I like to think of myself as atypical and say, well, I don't really have those issues normally anyway. Uh, we try to practice best practices all the time. Our fish stays covered, our fish stays iced down. Um, our desserts, once chilled, are always covered and taken care of. However, there is that time when the desserts are, frankly, uncovered. Everybody has to do it. Your cheesecake has to rest overnight move forward, we get our 30-day trial. He says, what have you got to lose? Absolutely nothing. Let's, let's give it a shot. First couple of days, I noticed that air quality is different immediately. Um, within the first couple of days, you notice the lack of moisture. You notice the coolness. And you get that because of the dryness in the air. You get that because your fans aren't working as hard. I have a pretty good system where the fans are running, however, the cycles uh, eventually became different because of the RV Fresh packets. Um, after a couple of weeks, what I noticed was my mushrooms, as good as the day they brought them in. My lettuces, um, think of arugula, uh, always one of the first to break down. Any of your spring mixes, typically the red leaves, the um, uh, la rosa, the oak leaf, anything like that, it's going to start breaking down first. That didn't happen. And that's a good thing. At the stage of three and four weeks, I typically go through a case of avocados a week. We do store the, the avocados once at the perfect um, ripeness. We will store those in the refrigerator. By the third and fourth week, what was extremely impressive and was the, the clincher for me was the fact the avocados were the same. Not only for ripeness, they were the same from the exterior to the interior from the shell to the, um, to the stone, to the pit, pure green. They were exactly as they should be. For me, that was the deal clencher that said, I'll take them. And it just moved from there. And, and um, ever since, all my produce is fantastic. All of my avocados are fresh. My mushrooms are perfect. And I'm happy. And I would highly recommend going with the already fresh pack.